I've just finished very good meetings with the uh, party general secretary, the president, the prime minister, and other senior leaders. I'm very pleased to announce today that the World Bank Group plans to provide Vietnam with over U.S. $3.8 billion in concessional financing over the next three years from IDA, our fund for the poorest countries. This will help Vietnam continue to invest in improving the lives of the Vietnamese people, including the extreme poor. Vietnam is now the second largest IDA recipient. I'm also pleased to announce that we have agreed to conduct a joint study with the government of Vietnam to look at the steps the country needs to take to become a modern, industrialized country in a single generation. The study will help Vietnam build on its remarkable development success story. Vietnam has been transformed from a poor rural economy into an emerging middle-income economy, with recent growth averaging 7% annually. Millions of Vietnamese have benefited. The poverty rate dropped from almost 60% in the early 1990s to under 10% today. Incomes of the bottom 40% of the population grew 9% annually over the last two decades. Vietnam, though, is now at a critical juncture. Growth has slowed and the economy is operating at less than its potential. It needs to speed up reforms to improve efficiency in state-owned enterprises and the financial sector, a point on which uh, all of the uh, uh, top leaders agreed with us today. That includes supporting green development and reforming the private sector to boost job creation, innovation, and high productivity growth. Thank you very much, and now I'll take your questions. Vị chủ tịch có nói là sẽ giúp Việt Nam đưa ra chiến lược phát triển toàn diện và hiệu quả. Vậy thì ông có thể cho biết là cái chiến lược này là như thế nào và World Bank sẽ giúp Việt Nam đạt được cái chiến lược này như thế nào ạ? The strategy, of course, will have to be developed uh, with the Vietnamese authorities. This is the great uh, benefit of, uh, of uh, doing a study like this. We will uh, bring expertise and experience from all over the world, uh, but all of this expertise and experience will have to, um, to be adapted to the Vietnamese context. The reform process, especially uh, with the state-owned enterprises, with the creating more competition, creating a better business environment, that will certainly be part of, of the strategy. Uh, investment in human resources is very important. The quality of investments in health, education, social protection um, is something that's important for every country in the world. Another area that we know uh, we will talk about is how to uh, grow the economy in an inclusive way, uh, but uh, in a way that also is sustainable, uh, sustainable economically, but also sustainable in terms of climate change and the environment. How concerned you are on the transparencies and accountability status in Vietnam? The World Bank has been a leader in fighting corruption. In, 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 uh, uh, for the last 20 years, uh, we have made it a top priority to fight corruption. Uh, we audit every single one of our projects and we do everything we can to follow the money to ensure uh, that corrupt practices uh, do not effectively steal money from poor people. So uh, we encourage transparency. Uh, we're, it's very important for us to fight corruption. We give the same message to every country about the issue uh, of transparency.